Hell's Canyon along the Snake River is home to robust herds of bighorn sheep. Idaho, Oregon, and Washington share this steep, rugged country that has been the experimental laboratory for studying the deadly MOV disease in bighorn sheep. In this tri-state area, state and federal wildlife agencies, the Wild Sheep Foundation, state chapters, and tribal agencies have worked together to develop the test and remove strategy to control MOV. The populations that we're working with today are just few of the several populations that we monitor as ODFNW as part of a tri-state initiative that involves Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, as well as Idaho Department of Fish and Game. It's truly a tri-state partnership. It's also a partnership with the Confederated Umatilla Tribes, as well as our Wild Sheep Foundation chapters and affiliates. And we do a lot of great work together and are very, very proud and, and thankful for our partnerships. By testing these bighorn sheep, individuals that carried and spread MOV were identified and then removed from the herds. By eliminating a small number of these carriers, the Hell's Canyon herds are now free of MOV and growing in numbers. Now it's time to experiment with different test and remove strategies on seven individual bighorn herds across the three states. Some native, some reintroduced, some healthy, and some MOV infected. The Tri-States decided to go big through a Wild Sheep Foundation GIA grant and funding from state chapters to greatly increase the surveys, testing, and collaring in these herds. The goal is to clear MOV from large landscapes where it's more difficult to capture and test all bighorn sheep. We are sharing data, we're sharing information, we're progressing a lot faster than if anybody was just doing this by ourselves. So test and remove is a pretty new concept, you know, in the world of wildlife management for bighorn sheep. But by working together and pooling resources, the projects can be bigger, we can answer more questions more quickly because we're sharing information. We meet often and it, the collaboration is really what's going to move things forward at a faster pace, a more productive pace and really more effective overall. The tribes have been involved with these sheep captures for a number of years, working with our co-managers to manage these populations. The bighorn sheep populations are, are critical to the tribe's culture and, of course, to the cultures of, of the non-tribal folks around here, those who hunt them and those who just enjoy seeing them. I would expect this to be just a, an ongoing relationship between the tribes and their co-managers. Um, working to manage the disease issues in these populations and many other management issues affecting the populations. I think it's important for all of us to kind of get out of our little silos and for many uh, outdoors and wildlife does that but I think it's important in general to understand and the need for why this type of habitat and these type of animals are worth investing in and learning about and making sure we protect them. As neighboring states sharing animals that cross these boundaries. They don't recognize that imaginary black line. It's really exciting to work with our neighbors because we're all trying to meet the same objectives for this meta population. The herds in North Central Washington are unique because they reside in next to major metropolitan areas. And so we have a lot of uh, residential and agricultural use right next to these herds. And so the ability for domestic sheep to plop down and set up shop in proximity to our bighorn sheep herds is very high. And so we have a high ability for transmission of MOVI from those domestic sheep to our wild populations. In central Washington, we actually have five populations that are now infected with MOVI. And back when I started in 2004, that was zero. So it's something that's of a major concern for us. Our objective or our goal is to study disease in wild sheep and to contribute that knowledge to disease management and hopefully conservation. I think all the effort that Washington State and Oregon and Idaho have put forth as well as the Wild Sheep Foundation is important because it basically is trying to preserve an iconic species to the shrub step landscape that once absent um, is really difficult to replace and, and diminishes people's experiences when they're out there on that landscape. It's really a testament to the power of collaboration. This isn't a, a cheap endeavor. So we've got the callers, we've got the helicopters, we've got all the personnel, we've got jet boats, we've got a fixed wing plane that is the spotter for the helicopter. This is really how we get things done. 
everybody has a role. The, the chapters have a role, nationals has a role, the agencies have a role, the public has a role, the volunteers have a role, and we all have the same goal so that we can have more sheep on the mountain and everybody can enjoy these beautiful animals. So there are lots of ways to contribute and it doesn't always have to involve your pocketbook. Supporting these projects however you can, I think makes a big difference. Being an outdoorsman and a hunter, this experience should be something everyone should try to do if you can. So many people that are out here are hunters and I, and I kind of dislike the term of consumptive users. Hunters do so much to give back. Hunters do so much to care about the land and the habitat and the animals and that is just so clear today. As far as being a process of handling and working up the sheep, it, it's pretty exciting to be able to handle those big rams and, and then to watch them take off and go back up the hill and you'll be able to see them later and say, hey, I helped put those collars on. So it's pretty cool. Anybody that really wants to help conservation-wise research, you know, it, it, they, they need help, they need volunteers. They, you know, they couldn't do it without us, I don't think. I mean, there's just too much going on. Success is simple. More bighorn sheep on more mountains.